Hey there, and welcome to Mom Coach Wife. My name is Alina Michelle, and today is Mompreneur Mondays. We're going to be doing things a little bit differently today. Unfortunately, I had a technical difficulty that caused me to have to reschedule today's feature, but because I too am a mompreneur, I will be featuring myself today and telling you guys all about Mom Coach Wife and why I created Mompreneur Mondays and so much more. So if you are new to this channel, be sure to like and subscribe. Every single Monday, we feature a new mom. This was not planned for me to be one of the moms, but that's how we're going to be doing things this time around. And on Wednesdays, we also have a regular video where I talk to you about different things that you can do to create or manage balance within your life, as well as other things that fall into accountability and time management. So let's get into today's feature. So I'm going to start this feature off by doing what I do for all the other features. And I'm basically going to go through answering some of the questions that I ask the moms every single time that I have them on here. So first and foremost, my name is Alina Michelle. I am the owner of Mom Coach Wife, which has a brand attached to it. That is the Balanced Mom, which is the name of the community and the planners that I have. I am 29 years old, mother to one. She is three years old, but sometimes I feel like she's 16. Uh, also wife to my husband for two years now. We've been together for a total of 11 come March. And we have an obnoxiously spoiled Chow Chow, who you may have seen in some of my videos because he would jump in the window and not really care what I was doing. So that is why the window is no longer in my videos. Um, I'm originally from Michigan and I still reside in Michigan currently. I'm also a licensed Michigan real estate agent. Um, my favorite thing to do with Brooklyn is probably to draw. Um, she's actually really, really good with coloring, um, probably better than I ever was. So it's kind of fun to draw and color with her and see her um, imagination kind of come to life on a page. So that's probably one of my favorite things to do with her. Um, and also just like reading and learning is really fun. It's kind of cool to see her develop over over time and as we read a word or spell a word and then later she comes back and she knows what it is so that's like really amazing for me to see so those are probably my two favorite things to do with her um I have always seen myself as a mom it's something that I've always wanted to be at some point um and yes she was my first so I was really really excited that she was a girl she looks nothing like me but she's still kind of a mini me she looks just like her dad but um yeah I always wanted to be a mom I've always seen myself a mom specifically to a little girl and in the future I hope to have a son if possible but definitely another child in the future um so not, nothing happening at this very moment, but that is something that I do want to do is expand my family. Um, as far as hobbies, I really like to just like create different things. Um, honestly, creating the planner for me was just a part of my hobbies at first. Um, I wanted to create something for myself because I had been writing like notebooks and things like that, but I wanted to get a little bit more in depth and I really, really enjoy creating new things. And that's probably another reason why I like to to draw with my daughter. I'm not good at like freehand drawing, but things on the computer and getting into like different tech. Like I, I've i used my tablet specifically with um, Procreate to draw some different things. And that's really fun because it kind of takes the stress out of having the perfect line. So that's something that I really enjoy doing. Um, also when I'm not running around doing crazy things with business and family, I do like to sit back and read or write. So those are some other things that I really enjoy. and. 
with us being in Michigan, I don't get to do this year round, but we started our garden last year and that was definitely a joy watching something grow from a seed into food we could actually eat. And it was pretty amazing. We actually had strawberries into, I want to say like September or October, we were still harvesting strawberries. So that was really, really fun. Um, my greatest inspiration would have to be my mother um, because she really taught me for one, how to be a mom, how to be a supportive person and to be really honest in that. She never apologized about being herself and being honest. And that's something that's very, very inspirational to me is just being confident in the woman and the person who you are and not being apologetic about it. Um, actually, whenever I'm questioning something that I'm doing, she's probably one of the first people that I will go to, to like get set straight and know that I'm on the right path. So she's definitely my person of inspiration. Um, yeah, she did a whole lot with, while well, I was growing up when I was first born, she didn't have a driver's license, but she knew it was something she wanted to do. So she got my dad to teach her how to drive and got her driver's license as an adult in her twenties at the time. Um, when she decided that she wanted more from her career, she went back to school and got her master's degree with, and this was like her her ambition to go back and do that while raising a family and helping my dad to do the crazy hours he was doing. So it was like a lot of juggling that she did, but she made it happen. She didn't make any excuses. She just did what she had to do. So um, mom, if you're watching, you're my inspiration. So uh, getting into mom, coach, wife, um, the business name, mom coach wife was created by myself um but the balanced mom portion my husband actually helped helped me with so i was kind of throwing some different names around and he he helped me decide on the balanced mom um mom coach wife is literally who i was at the time of creating this business so i'm a mother i'm also an accountability coach four moms and I am a wife and it's kind of like literally in the order that things happen in my life too like I was a mother first and then um, I got into coaching not originally as an accountability coach that was a shift in my business and um, my husband and I got married our daughter was like a year and a half when we got married so it's kind of the order of things that happened um, and now I'm a real estate agent too so it kind of it, it's not obviously added in the name but that was the thought process of mom coach wife and then the balanced mom just had to do with what it is that I I really want to teach moms to do is to have balance but the balance part it's like not at all about being balanced to do more mom things it's about being balanced to be able to make time for yourself and to do things that you actually enjoy most of the time moms are doing all of the mom things anyways. That's why our kids are still alive and breathing and growing and thriving. But we so often forget about doing the things for ourselves and taking care of us. And it can be really, really draining. Like you can lose so much of yourself and taking care of another person if you don't have balance. So I just really wanted to reach moms who were struggling with finding themselves doing things for themselves and making their their life their health a priority because it's so important to prioritize yourself so that you feel good at the end of the day and you feel energized and you're happy to wake up in the morning there's so there's so much joy in being balanced and taking care of yourself and being fulfilled and i just want to spread that to other moms so that's where the balanced mom portion came in um as far as products and services that I offer, um, the Balanced Mom Planner. I don't know if I have one. I actually have them behind me. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's two up here. Um, the Balanced Mom Planner was launched at the end of um, the end of 2020. 
So I have that. It's a very, very in-depth planner to help you to create and manage um, balance. So it's got a habit tracker in there so you can track habits that you want to create as well as habits that you want to break. However, you feel it's going to work best for you. Um, there's a goal tracker where you can have your, you list all, all your goals. And actually my video previous to this one, I actually talk about, um, all the different steps and things that you can do with a planner. And it's a monthly, weekly, and daily planner. So it gets really, really in depth. And the thing is to kind of create that habit of, tracking your day, reviewing your day, reviewing your week, and actually seeing where you are. Because what I found for myself was that I would feel like I wasn't really getting anything done. Um, and part of that was like really, really poor time management. And honestly, like my time management was horrible. Um, but another part of that was that I really wasn't tracking the little things that I was getting done. So once I started doing that, I started to realize how many things I was actually accomplishing throughout the day. And that made me feel so much better because there were so many days that went by where I just felt like I didn't get enough done. And the reality was that I kind of had, but I really wasn't reviewing my day and I wasn't tracking the different things that I was getting done. So I felt really low about doing actually quite a lot in a day. So um, that's one of the products that I have. There are matching tabs that go along with it. Um, and there's some more things in the works that I haven't quite launched yet. As far as services, like I mentioned earlier, I am an accountability coach. So I do one-on-one -on -one coaching with moms to help them to create a personalized um, plan for balance and how they're going to break down their different days, their weeks and, and whatnot, and to actually set some goals. So I work one-on-one -on -one with with the mom so that I can get a good idea of what their individual lifestyle is because balance looks different depending on you know who it is and what your lifestyle is like for me I'm married my husband's here with me um I have a great support system in honesty so I have my mother and father as well as my mother-in-law and father-in-law to support um what I'm doing as well as if I needed someone to watch Brooklyn for a couple of hours while I go to the gym or show a house or whatever it is that I might need to do they're like right there to do that for me. Whereas I know that there's some moms that don't have that level of support system or they may be co-parenting so they don't have a spouse or a boyfriend or someone who's right there to help with the kid with their kids. So and then I only have one child too, whereas some moms have multiple children. So it's really important for me to understand what that structure is to be able to help a mom individually create balance based on the, the current structure. And some moms are working, some moms are not. Some moms have businesses, some moms don't. So there's so much variety in who we are as, as people and therefore balance looks very, very different for each person. So I have the one-on-one -on -one, um, coaching. Actually, all of it is uh, is one-on-one, -on -one. even the program that will be launching at the end of this month. It's a 90-day balance boot camp That is also one-on-one. -on -one. It is a pretty structured program. However, I do work again with each person individually so that it gets tailored to their specific lifestyle because I understand that not everyone has the same lifestyle. It would be crazy to think that we all did um, and that would also be kind of boring too. But so those are the products and services that I offer. Oh, and also it's not really a product or service is it's free it's the balanced mom community i've talked about it a few times on the channel um it's a facebook group that is created for moms to celebrate all the things that we are so as women as individuals as mothers as wives girlfriends artists you know whatever it is that you are that is a safe space to celebrate that and ask different questions about motherhood there's a lot of new moms there's also some very seasoned moms in there too so it's a great place there's some amazing women in there um and it's completely free it's on facebook so you can check that out as well all this stuff gets linked by the way in every single video that i post um so if you're 
interested or looking for more information, you can always check the description below. Um, the idea for my business, I kind of covered that already. Um, it, it came from my own personal journey though. I wasn't really feeling like I knew who I was anymore after becoming a mom. And there were so many things that happened in my life just just before I made the transition to being an accountability coach for, for mothers that I first had to do it for myself. So first it was just a complete reconstruction of me. And I, I was just seeing like so many balls dropping and so many things that I wanted to do not happening and just feeling lost and like incapable of making all those things happen. And so once I realized some of the problems that I had within myself and I started to fix them and I started to like just feel happier and and more fulfilled and more ready to go out and and chase my goals and actually seeing different goals um, happen and get achieved was when my I shifted um, my goals for business and that's when mom coach wife became a thing and that's when the balanced mom became the thing was once i saw my own personal transition and i spoke to other moms and i've talked about many one conversation in particular several times about a mom who was completely lost she had gotten divorced didn't know who she was her kids were grown grown and out of the home and she was just devastatingly lost about who she was and I knew that was not what I wanted and I felt so badly for her that she had spent all these years serving everyone else and not serving herself and that was that was really like heartbreaking for me to hear because at the time I could see that ending up being me I had spent so much time saying yes to everybody else except for myself and everything everyone else wanted that's what I was I would go out and do someone asked me to go take care of their needs I was right there but then when it came to my needs it was like eh. I'll get to it when I get to it. So I just knew that I needed that change. And that's where mom coach wife was birthed was through my own personal transformation. Um, I hope to teach Brooklyn through all of this that she's a woman first and that it is very, very important for her to take care of herself and that it's not wrong and that she should never feel guilty for taking care of herself. Like she should never feel bad for having goals and aspirations. She should never feel bad for taking a day off to breathe. She should never feel bad for telling someone no because it's something that doesn't align with her values or her goals or what she she's doing or maybe her schedule is just too filled or whatever it is. So I hope that I can, that she sees that with me and that that's what she learns from this entire um endeavor that she's just like hey I know that I can be me and I can take care of me and there's nothing wrong with it so that when she becomes a mother she doesn't lose herself in motherhood but it just adds to the great person that she already is so that's what I hope that she learns from this so maybe years down the road she'll watch this and and know that that's what mommy wants but um but yeah, and I'm also, of course, having that conversation with her too, but I hope that that's what she learns from this entire thing. Um, I think that my biggest success, uh, it's actually very personal, is just the belief in myself. So before the business ever became a business, I feel like my biggest success was actually getting to a place where I truly believed in myself and I believed in all of the different things that I was doing in a way that there wasn't anyone that was going to come in and tear it apart or knock me down for it and I don't care now when people have like negative things to say about it because I know what the the goal is and I can actually see it coming to life and so it, it built such a confidence in me and I think that that was my biggest success and then on top of 
on top of that, then being able to reach back and help other moms is just just added to that. But it all goes back to really having that confidence in myself to believe that I was capable of going out and, and reaching all of these goals because I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't be talking to you guys right now. I wouldn't be having Mompreneur Mondays if I didn't first believe in myself. Um, I actually had a fear of being behind the camera, um, listening to myself speak, seeing myself. So getting over that, I feel like is has been my biggest success because it directly connects to everything else that I've been able to do and everything that I will be able to do in the future. Um, I do not have any employees currently, unless you count my husband, because every once in a while I have him do stuff, and my daughter, but she's three, so she doesn't do like a whole lot for my business other than take cute pictures that I can post to Instagram. But <laughs> um, I, other than that, I'm a one person show. So I do my videos, my video editing. I write the blog posts. I created the balance mom planner myself. I did use a print service to print it um, and like bind it and everything, but like everything on the inside of it, I created myself. I manage all of my social media myself. So any, any typos, me <laughs> any um any posts that's all me like I, I probably am the one that took the photo and there's been a few cases where I've taken like photos that have been sent to me from my husband or my father from different you know, my dad's really into taking pictures so um like different family events like he'll take pictures and then he has a way to like send them to my phone from his camera which is pretty cool um so Every once in a while, I'll get photos from like family members that I'll share. But for the most part, they're photos that I took of myself, videos all done um, myself. My husband did put these shelves up though. So that's, you know, that's where he ties in. But yeah, as far as actual employees, there are no employees currently. I am not currently looking for employees, but I do want to get to a place where I'm helping enough moms and uh, I'm able to actually add to employees. Probably first thing that I would do is probably like a social media manager because that is really, really time consuming. And it's something that I definitely could like, pa I could pass that off to someone. I think, um, but I know part of it is just like, I have a vision and that's part of why I'm not looking for employees. I have a goal of what I want to, to put out there and a goal of like the message that I want to send. So, and I know there's people who are trained to do that and all that good stuff. So yeah, I get it. But right now it's just me and my family and they help out. Um, the reason why I chose this business out of all the different things that I can do, if you know me for a while, then you know that I've actually had other businesses. I had a natural hair and skincare business. I also had an office business where I was um, subleasing some offices that transferred into my business coaching and then transformed into mom coach wife. But the reason why... I chose this business essentially over everything else is that I've always felt this desire and this like drive to help other people. And I feel like this is the way for me to help other people. I didn't really know how I was going to help others, who I was going to help or anything like that until I went through my own personal journey. And that's when that light bulb went off. So that's, why I chose this business to help other people. That's the whole goal. That's why we do Mom Pretty More Mondays. That's why I have the Balanced Mom group. That's why I created the planner. It's it's all to help other moms and to empower women to be more than just moms. And so yeah, so that's that's why I chose this business. I don't think that there's any other way, at least for me, to have that same impact. So that's where this comes in. I advertise. On social media for the most part um well like entirely really um that's the bulk of my advertising like i don't have print ads or anything that i send out to anyone else um i do have email marketing i use mailchimp i'm sorry mailchimp but i'm considering swapping um had a couple of issues with mailchimp but 
I've been using them for a while. So that is who I use. I use MailChimp for email marketing. I don't do a whole lot with email marketing. It's pretty much used for Mompreneur Mondays at this point. I mean, dive into it a little bit deeper. I I knew about MailChimp and Constant Contact. Those were the two that I had used in um, property management, which was what I was doing before I was a business owner. And that's pretty much what I was accustomed to. So that's why I just went with MailChimp because Constant Contact is a little pricey. Um, <laughs> and I do ship nationally. So I ship throughout the US currently. I haven't had any orders for this business outside of the US. Um, I would be open to it um, as long as there wasn't like a language change because I only have the balance mom in English. So I will be open to shipping outside of the US, but at this present time, I haven't shipped outside of the US. It's been US based, but I have worked with several moms who are outside of the US and many of the moms in Mompreneur Mondays will be actually from all over the place. I have talked to a woman in Ireland, Australia, Canada. I wanna say there's one other, I wanna say Germany, but I might be wrong. But anyways, I know those first three for sure. So I've worked with women all over the world, but as far as like physical shipping, um, right now it's just been nationwide, but I am open to shipping outside of the nation. Um, I wouldn't start my business over from scratch. One of the questions that I have here is, if you could start your business over from scratch, what would you do differently and why? Um, I don't think that I would start it over from scratch and I don't think that I would do anything really differently because what I did in the start of this business taught me a lot. Um, I guess like maybe I would tell more people about it if I had to do something different, but I don't really feel like I would do much different because if I go back and change it, then I don't learn all the things that I learned unless I think I'm overthinking this, but <laughs> unless it was something where like I could take all my knowledge right now and then apply it there, I would probably just like talk more about mom coach wife um, on my different platforms because I, when I first started, I was very, very quiet about it. Um, I only talked about it in a few select places, but I would probably change it. That's pro that would probably be what I would change as long as it's something where I could take my current knowledge and apply it to day one. But if I'm just starting over and I don't know anything that I know today, I wouldn't do anything differently. Well, I probably wouldn't be able to. So, yeah. Um, now we're getting into balance and how often do you make time for yourself is the first question. Um, I actually make time for myself quite often. I get up pretty early in the morning. I get up at 4.30 in the morning most days unless I decide that I'm sleeping in or I have like a late night with my husband and then we're like, yeah, we're not getting up that early. Um, but yeah, usually I get up at 4.30 in the morning. And so I typically spend the first few hours of the day to myself. So it usually takes me about an hour in the mornings to get ready and everything like right now it's 7 55 in the morning as i'm recording this and i've been up since 4 30 so i've been doing things for myself for my business and yeah so i spend quite quite a few hours especially in the mornings for myself because i know that my little one is still asleep so i don't have to like consistently be interrupted to go do other things um and then every once in a while, like in the evenings, I might spend some time to myself. And when I'm spending time to myself, um, the first thing that I do in the mornings is get ready. And this is a time where I like really reflect on what I have to do for the day. I've usually already reflected on the day prior um, at some point towards the evening, but I usually start off by just thinking about what I'm what my intentions are for the day, what I plan to to go out there out here there and do in the world um 
And then I, after I get ready for the day, I check to see if my husband's getting up or not. <laughs> um, it just depends on what his schedule is looking like. And then I come downstairs and I get started with my day. Um, I really enjoy what I do. So although technically I am working, like either doing a video like I am right now or um creating something or responding to messages that I fell asleep on or didn't respond to the night before things like that like it's just part of what I enjoy so it's still my own personal time um I do want to get to a place where I have like enough of these videos up where part of my time won't be recording videos I want to kind of like get get out of the way of, of doing that more in the mornings but um but yeah I spend quite a bit of time for myself and I usually recommend to my clients to start out with at least 30 minutes a day. It's how I started was just giving myself about 30 minutes a day and it just kind of spiraled from there and I started finding more and more time that I could, could eat up for myself. I get it now everyone's going to get up at 4.30 in the morning. It, it is very early, it's still dark outside and I get that but um I just found that for me, that was what worked, was to get up earlier in the morning. Um, I have no idea what I would name a book after myself. Maybe I just like go the easy route and just name it Mom, Coach, Wife. I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know what I would name a book um, about my life. That is a, definitely a, a difficult question to answer. And I know like I ask ex-moms these questions all the time, but um, yeah, I have no idea what I would name a book about myself. Um, no idea. We'll just go with mom, coach, wife for now. If I change it, maybe I'll put it in the description or something, but I, I don't know. Um, my biggest challenge as a mompreneur was balance. Um, without a doubt. And that's why I have my business the way that it is. It was balanced. I had no idea how I was supposed to run a business, raise a family, be a good wife and take care of myself. Um, so that was literally the hardest part for me was balance. Um, I started off not really being super organized and not having good time management at all. Um, easily would distract, would procrastinate like all those different things were happening and while I had really great ideas um I just wasn't managing them well like at all so I think that that was my struggle was like finding balance and yeah that was pretty much my struggle I couldn't I was not balanced and now I am and things actually flow so much better so that was my biggest struggle but um i overcame it by really planning um that's how i overcame my challenge i learned how to plan actually the book that helped me the most was the seven habits of highly effective people that was actually where i got a lot of the um structure of my business was from reading that was from reading that book um if you've read it then you kind of can probably connect the dots um, but yeah that was really really helpful for me in creating balance in discovering what it was that I wanted to do and how I was going to do it and I I created like little planner sheets at the time and I just like went to work with it because I really didn't know too much of where to start and that book really helped me out a lot um so that would be my recommendation i'm sure it's a popular book so a lot of you may have already read it um or know about it but that would be my book suggestion i know i use i, I often ask moms for their book suggestions and um yeah so if i had three wishes um my first wish would be to get rid of stereotypes in general because I feel like part of the reason why moms lose themselves in motherhood has to do with stereotypes in our society that basically depict us as just moms like um and that kind of goes into why I did mom for Mondays but I'm not going to go there yet so I'm going to, that's the last thing I'm going to talk about um so yeah I I would get rid of stereotypes that's one thing that I would do. Um, next, I 
would what else I would wish for. Hmm. I don't know. I definitely get rid of stereotypes, but the next thing that I would wish for is generational wealth. And that's that's something that of course I'm working on with being an entrepreneur, but I would wish for unending generational wealth so that my children and their children and their children's children don't have to struggle through through life so that will be another wish um maybe like generational knowledge if that's i don't think that's a phrase but we can make it a phrase. Um, so like if I could just take everything that's in my head and like just naturally like pass it down, I think that would be pretty cool. And then like my children pass it down and down and down. So yeah, those are my three wishes for now. Maybe they'll change. I don't know. But right now, those are my three wishes. Get rid of, ster- get rid of stereotypes, generational wealth and generational knowledge. So anyways um before i wrap up today i want to talk to you guys a little bit about mompreneur mondays why i created it what it means and what you can expect going forward at this point this is episode three so we've done two episodes so far um and the reason why i created this of course is to break down those boundaries of moms just being moms and because i didn't really see like a lot of me and the entrepreneurial world and what I mean by that is I see women who are entrepreneurs 100% all the time I see moms who are killing it but we never really talk about the fact that they're mothers as well and so as a as a mom who's thinking about getting into business after becoming a new mom doesn't really help to motivate or to inspire when we don't get to see the behind the scenes of what it really is like being a mom and an entrepreneur. So I wanted to create a series that not only promoted each of these women's businesses, but also gave the world a view of what it means to be a mompreneur. Um, I wanted to basically give a platform for moms to talk about all of their journey uh, after becoming a mom and even before becoming a mom, what it looks like to truly be a mompreneur and to show that there's so many different versions of that. There's so many different personalities. There's so many different um, stories. There's so many different lifestyles that no matter where you are as a mom, that you can be inspired by these women who have built businesses or are in the middle of building businesses. Some of them have very new businesses. Some have businesses that are like 10 years old and more. So I know for, for one, I haven't spoken to every single one of the women for the lineup. And at this point, we only have, I think, three more days in the year that can be booked out. But um yeah, it's just, it's really inspiring to see women from different walks of life who are mothers talk about their businesses as well as motherhood, because I feel like because we don't see that so often, it's easy to fall into this space of feeling like, well, I can't because I'm a mom, or I shouldn't because I'm a mom, and all these negatives because we're moms, instead of actually having a a voice of reason that's like, hey, you actually can because you're a mom and you should because you're a mom. And these are all the reasons why. And sure, your life may look like this, but it's not going to stop you from being an entrepreneur because look at this mom and this mom and this mom. And I really wanted to, to give this visual of moms being so much more. And the best way that I knew to do that was through entrepreneurs who happen to also be moms so raising businesses and babies at the same time and uh, it's not just for moms to go out there and, and start a business I get it entrepreneurship is not for everyone I'm not the type of person that's going to go through and like you need to start your own business and stop working for somebody else for me that was true but for someone else that may not be true they may not want the responsibilities of running an entire business but what is true is that you're more than a mom and what is true is that 
regardless of what it is that you want to do, you should be going out and doing that and not letting motherhood stop you from it because you're just suppressing yourself and that's never a good thing. Um, so yeah, that's why I started it. And you will see moms from so many different walks of life, different um, classes, different ages, different stages of motherhood. Some will be very new moms. I know one of the women that I spoke to actually technically isn't a mom yet. She's expecting, but by the time we talk, she'll have a newborn. Um, and then I have moms who have adult children. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just a really amazing um, journey that I've been going on in meeting these women. And I hope that in the process of speaking to so many different women that they also inspire you and that you can see yourself in some of these women and see what it means to be an entrepreneur and a mom. And even more than that, that you get inspired to be more than a mom or to continue to be more than a mom if you're already doing those things. So that is... My, why I created Mompreneur Mondays and um, why I'm like really, really excited to continue to do it. And yeah, like I said, I really hope that um, that you guys are inspired by some of these amazing moms that I have coming up because they've been doing phenomenal things and all of them have one similar goal and that's to have like a positive impact on their own children and to teach them something amazing so um so yeah that's why we do mom for monday so i'm gonna wrap it up before i get like too emotional about the reason why i do this um i attribute my success to all of the the women before me and um, all the women who I've been able to work with because had it not been for them, had it not been for their voices, I wouldn't be able to share mine. So um, I definitely attribute my success to that. And also just finally getting confidence within myself to go out and do what I'm called to do. So I definitely attribute my success to those two things. Um, if I was to go back to before I was a mompreneur and tell myself anything, I, it would be believe in yourself. You are more capable than you know you are. So that would be my word back to myself. And that's also my word to anyone out there who is wanting to do something different or new um, and plan. That's my tip. My tip and trick is to plan to to have a routine, to create some kind of habits. Um, planning is literally what saved me. And I was really hard headed about it at first. Didn't think that I really needed to plan. Just took my days as they came. And it was really messy, honestly. Like looking back on it, it's really, it was really, really messy. And anytime that I even fall off of my plan, my days are just messy, just in all honesty. And when you plan, just be fluid with it because your mom, things don't always go as planned. Um, to be fluid with that. So as far as finding me online, you guys are already on my YouTube channel. So that means you found my video, but you find me right here on YouTube. Mom Coach Wife is the name of the channel. Um, make sure to subscribe, like the video, bell for notifications. You guys know the whole deal, especially if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, you know what we ask for. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. All of them are at Mom Coach Wife. I do have a Pinterest for the Balanced Mom community. And I think it's literally Pinterest slash the Balanced Mom community or slash Balanced Mom community. The link will be in the description because I always forget if the is in there or not. But yeah, Balanced Mom community on Pinterest, I pin a bunch of different little like mom things. And um, there's also like some money tips in there which i think was kind of fun just different little like ways to save and stuff so that's really cool um the website is momcoachwife.com and there's also an etsy shop that's the balanced mom on etsy and you can get the planners on there as well and there will be some more etsy exclusives that will be on the etsy shop and again all of that is in the description of this video and it's also in the description of like all of my videos 
Um, and if you want to work with me, there is a form that I have everyone fill out before you pay for anything, before we schedule anything, because I want to make sure that we're a good fit. So there is a form that you have to fill out prior to working with me. And once we fill out that form, then I'll get in contact with you. We'll talk about things a little bit more in depth, and then we'll get you into the program or service that works the best for your particular needs. Um so that's how you can book me as far as shopping with me, Mom Coach Wife, or the Etsy shop. But we also have links on Facebook and Instagram for the Balanced Bond Planners. So those things are available on social media to purchase as well. Um, but not on Twitter. I don't think Twitter has a shop. I don't think so. I don't know. If I'm incorrect, someone can let me know and we'll get that set up too. But yeah, those are the different ways you can shop with me and connect with me online. Um but yeah, if you want to start a business or create a new hobby, go for it. Be confident in yourself and plan for it. Like just make sure that you set a really solid plan and you know what your goals are around whatever it is that you're doing, whether it be a hobby or business or just a regular routine. Definitely set one. Put some structure in your life. Our kids thrive off structure. So do we. Um so that's all that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching my episode of Mompreneur Mondays. And I really hope that you tune into the rest of them. There are some phenomenal moms coming up and I can't wait to share them with you guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.